Okay, so those are some of the basics when it comes to identifying zero force members in a truss structure like this. So, any questions? Yeah, can you explain why there's no force on the center beam? I, intuitively, I don't see how that's possible. Oh, okay, that's a terrible question. So, and try to keep up. F force in that center beam equals zero, hence no force. All right, you guys, remember they say there are no stupid questions, but come on, let's be real. In summary, we have our input signal, right? We put that in and it will go like this way, and then we got, we got a transistor here, and then we got a capacitor, of course, and then, can't forget this capacitor, right? And of course, two diodes to help with the, you know, you, you guys know what's going on. No, we don't. And then, of course, we got another transistor here on this one, and then and then when it gets here, it's, it's, it's a louder signal, right? So the middle part's gonna be what's on the midterm. Okay, so you guys have any questions on that? Top right corner, what's the purpose of that capacitor? Oh, you mean this right here? No, what, top right corner. This capacitor right here? Which one are you talking about? Point to it. Right there, right, right there. Keep going right, don't go down. Okay, keep going, keep going. There it is, we did oh, okay. it. Okay, I'm with you, yeah, yeah, we got it, we got it. That says 100. Sorry about that, I can write a little small sometimes. Not its value, its purpose. Yes, exactly, it has a purpose. It's not just chilling there. Real good, real good. So if there are no more questions, I'll see you guys on Monday. All right, so did everyone get the $300 textbook that's custom made for this class and only available at our university's bookstore? Even though you can find the same information in literally any other engineering textbook? Yep, got it right here. Okay, because that is not required. I won't be using that at all. I feel like it's just gonna be easier to use online notes and practice problems. So why was it required in the syllabus? I don't know. Yeah, that's a thinker. But you kept your seat, right? No, I assumed that ah, you were gonna- Ah, well, looks like we both screwed up on that one. Now, you could try reselling it next semester, but by then we're gonna have the 2020 winter edition, which will be the exact same textbook, except some of the numbers will be slightly different for no reason besides profit. But hey, at least you learned something. All right, you guys, so the test is today. Now, for the majority of you, you should be able to finish within the next 45 minutes. That's not too bad. Yeah, and you started two hours ago. I mean, look at this thing. I'm so glad I'll take this. So yeah, pretty much no one has ever finished one of my exams before. Now, does it make sense to have a test like that? No. But is it gonna prepare you for the real world? where you have to think on your feet and make decisions at a moment's notice? No. But it is gonna make some of you cry, and to me, that's funny. Now the problems on the upcoming test next week will look absolutely nothing like anything you've seen before, but that's why we have the midterm review packet. So the test will look similar to that? No. That'll take away from the fun of seeing your face on test day once you get to that first question. But no, this is still required to do though. So I'm canceling all homework due this week. To make up for the pop midterm you're about to take right now. But don't you guys worry, it'll only count for 40% of your grade. Not gonna happen. Okay you guys, so welcome to the first day of hell. Wait, what? Welcome to lab. Let's start going over the syllabus, let's just talk lab reports. What do we gotta have for lab reports? Gotta have a title page, of course, name, date, all that stuff. Gotta have a table of contents, right? Why do we need a table of contents? For no, no reason. reason. Exactly, just more points to lose and more work to do, so everyone's happy, except for you guys. Then don't forget, you guys need individual conclusions, even though all of them are gonna look exactly the same. Now, each of our lab classes is exactly three hours, which is why each lab's gonna take you five hours. No, the labs aren't open on the weekends. Then here's some things that can cost you a point, like if you're missing a caption on your graph, you're gonna lose a point. If you use the wrong verb tense, you're gonna lose a point. If you use the first person, you're gonna lose a point. For every missing unit, you lose a point. If you don't include the equipment serial number, you lose a point. If you use the wrong verb tense, you lose a point. Professor? Yeah. How many points are these reports out of? Oh, great question. These lab reports are worth five points each. What, and you take off an entire point for each of those? Well, yeah, but it's only one point. That's 20%. Still, it's just one point. Twenty percent. I feel like we're both saying the same thing. Like, it's just one point, not that bad. Do you ever take off half points? Yeah, but I treat those half points like gravity. You round up? You round that 
Right up exactly. I feel like integers are just easier to work with for everyone, you know? Good job, Andrew. You know what? I'll give you half a point extra credit for that. Oh, nice. Can you round that up? No. That'd be like 20%. That's way too much. In fact, we round those down because there is no extra credit in this class. Really? Yes, really. Let me tell you, there is a time and a place in life for extra credit and free handouts for doing nothing. And that's called the College of Liberal Arts. And their door's always open. Speaking of which, I do need to refill my coffee. And remember, when you guys are doing your pre-labs so where you have to calculate the values you expect to get in lab, just assume no friction, no air resistance, no internal resistance, all gas is an ideal gas, all fluid flow is laminar, E is three, pi is three, four is three, sine of x and any other function that also crosses the origin are the exact same function. Then when you're doing your lab write-ups, I want you thinking, why was there error between my theoretical value and my experimental one? Because I mean, no one's going to measure the exact theoretical value that you should be getting, which is why no one's theoretically going to get an A. But I want you guys talking about this in your sources of error section of your lab reports. Will the sources of error for each lab be exactly the same? Yes, they will. Will we have to write that every single time? Absolutely. Why is that? Because. Okay. And lab reports will be turned in online, so I guess we can make the due date whenever we want. So what are you guys thinking? Just don't make it Fridays I'm at midnight. I'm thinking Fridays at midnight makes the most sense. Well, Fridays at 11.59 p.m. That way you don't have to worry about it over the weekend, but if you procrastinate, you can't really enjoy your Friday, which is kind of funny. Professor? Yeah? I have my write-up for the senior project all ready to go. All right. Let's see what you got. Okay, you might want to consider changing your title to how to end my sentences with a preposition, so let me just... Ooh, right here where you literally talked about a more efficient method of renewable energy, you used the first person instead of the third, so that's gonna cost you. Do you not like commas or do you just not get them? You know semicolons aren't just used in programming, right? I feel like you need stronger adjectives. Is English your first language? Did you reach the page limit on this? What kind of margins are we working with here? Ooh, you forgot to comment your name on the top of your code like I instructed, so now it's like I don't even know who wrote this code, right? I wrote it. Exactly, it could have been anyone. I'll just assume it's plagiarized for now. Okay, good news, this part's just about your opinion, so there are no right answers. <laughs> but there are wrong answers. All right, this is a solid D plus paper. I did everything the requirements said. Oh, but that's only if you wanted a C at the max. So what do I need to do to get an A? I don't even know. See, that's the crazy part. And that's it. You guys are pretty much done. The uh, final's next week, but otherwise, best of luck with everything. You are all ready for the real world now. I mean, you've had several years of solving and deriving equations which pertain to very ideal conditions which won't reflect reality ever, all while doing labs that we came up with which will look nothing like anything you'll see at any company. So best of luck in your future engineering careers. And before you go back to not doing that homework that's due tomorrow, one, be sure to check out Andrew's channel. If you like this video or just like physics in general, then definitely go sub to him. And two, I need to thank my sponsor of this video, which is you guys. Yeah, something different this time. Not just the ones who donate, but everyone who comments, likes, shares, and simply watches these videos. I just wanted to thank you guys for making this channel possible. But as always, a huge thank you to the ones who do donate, and if you'd like to contribute, links are below. With some help, maybe I can make more videos that aren't brand sponsored like this one. But with that, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video.